Hey everybody, this is Cody and welcome back- Stop that! And welcome back to Let's Play a Legend of- The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Heavens. That fireball is messing me up. Uh, if you remember this room, there was a very suspicious- Stop doing that! Yeah, there was a very suspicious block. I'm gonna push it and go in because I can't talk there because they keep fireballing me and now I'm dead. That was a great start. That was- That was the best start ever. Alright, we're back again. Let's try that again. Okay, kill the bat, head upwards, kill the bat, and finally, we are in a new room. Uh, there is a locked door there, and you can see the way to get back is to push that suspicious looking block once again. I don't think we need to kill anything in here, but let's just kill it anyway, because we will have to come back, because there is a locked door there, so just c clear it out for future use. Uh, what have we got here? We got, we got two boomerangs. What, what was I calling them? Boomer problems? Was that even in this LP? I need to I need to keep track. I keep getting mixed up. Ah. So yeah, kill these and the blocks disappear. What have we got? We got a key, and we can teleport back. But I, I don't want to. I mean, there's a there's a locked door right here. I don't want to teleport. If we get stuck at some point, then we'll try that teleport. But for now, let's get across the pit of spikes. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Here? Here, there we go. Uh, you couldn't trick, you can't trick me, I'm Indiana Jones. We got fireballs and... Great. What are we gonna do about this? Alright. So straight away we need to move, 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 move. That was a... That was a bit of a mean one. Alright, we'll finish these guys off. Die blob, die blob. And we're near the boss room apparently. You can hear the boss in the background. Well, not anymore. Alright, we got... We seem to have a portal there. And... Look at that. Look, look how many of them there are. Look how many annoying hands. There's like four of them. Come on. Come on. Come here. I mean, I probably don't have to kill them, but I just hate wall masters and floor masters so much. Oh, I do. I did have to kill them. Alright, so we're... Uh, oh, we're on the other side. If you remember last episode, we left off here be- As I was saying, we are back here. See, there's the boss door right there. We are now on the other side of that, uh... That area we couldn't get across at the end of last episode. And, hmm, we've got bats and spikes. Um, I have to be really careful here because on the way here, I obviously, as you can see from the hearts, I did not fare. So... Well, alright, let's uh, get across here. Um, and we got a mini boss to fight. I am. Uh, what are we gonna do? It. This doesn't even stun it. I'm, I'm gonna escape it. I'm gonna try and find some hearts because. Oh no. Oh no, we're back at this room. You mean like I have to I have to go back through the whole dungeon again? It's just it's just gonna lock me out. Cause look, see see you should recognize this room because uh oh, everything respawned. How clever of it! Cause this is like this is the entrance. If I head over here to the left, um, this is like the entrance. This is the entrance to the place. They just locked us out. So I'm gonna meet you back once I have hearts and once I am at that mini boss. All right, where is this? So, uh, on my way back, I I was overcome with my morbid curiosity, which, as you know, killed the cat, and tried out that portal that I avoided before, because I wanted to open the locked door, and it took me to this room. I have no idea where it, where it is. I guess if I defeat these guys, I can get another portal to... Where is this? Like, I, I'm... I'm completely lost. Is this... Have we already been here before? I think we... Yeah, we've already been here before. This is like some random other point in the dungeon. What was... What was the point of that? Okay. Meet you at the mini bar. Here we go. We are back. Uh, hopefully we will not have a death or I will have to go back for like the 12th time. But... Oh no, this looks... This might not be... Yeah, if that was a mini boss, that was a fairly easy one and we get the arrows! Alright, so every time I use an arrow, it uses up one rupee, uh, as opposed to just collecting like 30 arrows 
Um, like Ocarina of Time does, you actually... Let's see if we can... Yeah! Awesome! Alright, so this is the starting room, and now we can do this. But what about these ones? There's so many things to poke in the eye! Oh. Oh. We can't poke you in the eye? That is having so much fun! You guys are ruining it for me! Alright, so let's head over to that other eye. Not other M, didn't sh that was that was barely a joke. Yeah, it's a lot easier with arrows because imagine if you got a boomerang that instantly killed everything. That's and it doesn't come back to you, um, and it uses up groupies. There's not actually much that's similar at all. But, all right, so here is die, die, die. I love these arrows so much. Hopefully, I don't need these rupees for anything. All right, so now we can get across to an all new room. Oh, it's this one. It's the one with these guys. But but they just got wrecked so hard. So let's see what's in here. Oh, we got another room full of monsters. But now they are monster dead. Ha 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 ha. Another non-joke. Because I can't really think of jokes when I have to keep dodging fireballs. I hate dodging fireballs. Uh, let's see. This is the boss key. So finally, we're going to go and meet the boss of Dungeon 1. Uh, yeah, this is Dungeon 1, isn't it? Wow. Took three episodes for Dungeon One. I got, so, huh? Maybe I have to. Yeah, you can shoot it from the side there. All right, so we have to get around to that boss door. Um. Okay, so meet you at the boss door, and let's get bossing. What have we got here? We got a giant enemy crab, but this time we have an arrow. All right, so it looks like we have to wait for the eye to pop up. And gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oops, I missed. All right, I have to concentrate because. Giant enemy crabs can also shoot fireballs. <gasps> a heart container, yes! And that means I will hopefully die a lot less. That was my poem. Alright, so let's head up, get the Triforce piece, and woo! Yeah, that's right. We saved the king. He's not a frog anymore. Except that's not even the right game. So let's, uh,. What do you think we can do now that we have the item from level 1? We can probably use that for level 2. But, uh, first we have to escape the swamp. So, uh, yeah. One more cut. Okay, so we are back in, uh, Hyrule Field S. I think that means south. I'm just looking at what it says on the top left there, Hyrule Field S. So let's find something that our newly found arrows and bombs are going to be able to get us through. Um, wait, wasn't there a giant enemy crab in that cave that we were having trouble with because we didn't have the arrows? Let's go revisit him. Let's uh, say, hey there, giant enemy crab. I've got something for you, and it's a stick in the eye. Um, oh, some bombs. Did I not get these? or did... Maybe they respawn. Who knows? So let's head over here. I think this is the direction. Um, and then we head up here. Yeah, there we go. That was incredibly simple. You saved me, Goro. Thanks. Do buy a cheap super bomb, Goro. Use it to blow up the rock north of this cave, Goro. There's a helpful hint. You can use a super bomb on a statue in the Chodin Swamp. Huh. How many super bombs can I pick up? Because I want to use one on the statue in the swamp. Um, let's hope I'm not... Because if this just cheats me out of 70 rupees, I'm not going to be happy. You just cheated me out of 70 rupees! I wanted to carry two super bombs. Is that is that so hard to, uh, to comprehend? Because you said there were two things I needed the super bomb for. And it's going to blow up after the first time I use it. It's not... So it makes sense to just, you know, get two of them. Well, there goes 70 of my rupees. Hopefully I can just make it back by gambling. The rock north of this cave, do you think he meant this one? I assume so. If not, I've wasted another 70 rupees, so I, yeah, but this looks right. So yeah, that Link statue in the swamp, I assume, is what he was talking about. So at some point, when I have enough money to be cheated out of another 70 rupees, uh, we will go and visit that statue and blow it up. But for now, let's head over through this new area. Um, by the way, arrows still can't kill those annoying pea hats. Look at this. 
I hate you so much, P-Hats. I hate you so much. Uh, we'll, we'll head up here. Uh, lots of moblins with arrows. Trying to play the arrow game. Um, I should stop wasting my arrows because they each use up rupees, which I need so that I can be cheated out of them. Actually, that's not a very convincing argument. Uh, we'll head over here and... Oh, look at this! That's the village! There's like a hole there to get to the village, so I assume there's some way to cross that hole at some point in the near future, but not quite yet. Got a tree there. Uh, trees are usually for burning, not bombing, so um, I assume we're going to find some sort of burny burny here, because burning is the best. If you've watched my uh, other episodes, I, I sort of cackle maniacally while I'm burning things. It's a bad habit. Um, have we... Have we been here before? That's strange, uh... Maybe, maybe... No, I don't think we have. Just looking at the... Looking at the map. Hmm. Uh, I need to stop taking stupid damage from stupid reasons. Um, uh, yeah, this seems to be a new place, so what has it got in store? It's... Oh, the map, I see! So that map, see, look at the map. Boop, boop, Hyrule Field S, Hyrule Field N. So the map is so huge they couldn't fit it um, on the screen there. There's a heart there, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. There we go. Oh, there's moblins everywhere, come on. I want to find something interesting. Of That's interesting. I am fascinated by that, but um, first I want to check this thing out to the right. Yeah, because I saw it, there was like a cobblestone path. There's a shop, hopefully I have some money to be cheated out of. Uh, and there's something interesting to buy. 50? A super bomb is 50 here? You mean... So, I could have paid 50 for a super bomb. That stupid Goron! I lost 140 on his super bomb when I could have bought it for 50 from someone whose life I didn't just save from a giant enemy crab. What an ungrateful little Goron. That, that's 90 of my rupees down the drain. Well, let's see what's up here. Um, that hotel pass looks important, so when we have rupees, we will get them. And what, are those boulders? Are there boulders going down here? I need a heart. Heart, with my American accent. And, hmm. This is certainly interesting. What is this? He Hestone Mountains. I will we'll try over to the left first. Uh, what's this? It's a path down. There's so many directions that I could be exploring, so uh, hopefully I don't miss any. If I do, I'll just be wandering around for a long time. I'll edit that out, though. What's in this cave? Oh, a Goron! Do you have a pass for the inn? If you do, you'll get a special gift. It's great. Um, I don't have enough money for it yet, though. I'm one rupee away. And whoa ho ho! Come back here, Mr. Fairy, or Mrs. Fairy. I mean... Yeah, there are male fairies in the Zelda series, because like in Majora's Mask, there was a brother and sister fairy. Um, you just... all of the great fairies are female. I think it's weird there's only one yellow flower in Hyrule. I think it's because of the warm temperatures of the sun. I wonder what would happen if someone warmed it up really, really hot. Okay, so, um, he's encouraging pyromania. Grand pyromania. Um, so, we're going to, whenever we do get something that can burn it really, really hot, we'll have to be on the lookout for yellow flowers. Have to sneak back into this cave and... Yeah, be quiet. I didn't come here to talk to you. I came here to escape from crazy boulder tech type monstrosity potatoes falling from the earth. Not the sky, the earth, because that's where boulders come from. They don't actually come from the sky. Now, this important lesson brought to you by Cody. We'll head over, and what is that? What is that thing? Hold on. Can, can the screen stop being obstructed by, like, millions of things bouncing about everywhere? Half of them I cannot, which I cannot kill. Um, but what is that? I can't shoot it. I assume I can't bomb it, but I just really want to anyway, but yeah, no, it didn't work. 
so I, I'm pretty sure I can't. No, I can't kill the boulders. I can't kill the pea hats. They're just a bunch of unkillable stuff wandering around trying to damn. Seriously, everything's hopping around. What is your problem? I don't want to be hopped. Oh no, I'm actually running low on time, aren't I? So, in the next episode, we will uh, we'll continue our rampage through the mountains. So see you then.